beyond happy to report that over 10 days, I believe we saw some really successful results. Good morning. We got a lot to do today. We have a couple more hours of work. We need to finish editing this YouTube video. We need to write some more code. And then we're gonna dive into something that I'm thinking is probably a little unique, hopefully upping the customer service and hospitality game for our new SaaS product, Benchbox, that I think is just going to, at a whole new level of authenticity, encouragement, probably a little refreshing for the receiving side of this thing, but more on that soon. So let's get into it. But first, we need some coffee. We need to write some code. Let's go. So let's talk hospitality. I wanna shout out a good friend of mine, Mike. Link to his news article where he does a little bit of blogging and podcasting down below. He runs a couple other podcasts and genuinely is a wealth of information. All of the questions that I have asked myself as I'm going through this journey, he's like, yeah, I got an article on that. Send me a link. So shout out, Mike. You were the one who kind of put me on to this thought process and I really appreciate you. In one of his latest articles, he kind of put me onto a book I'd never heard of called Unreasonable Hospitality. I've been listening to the audiobook while I'm walking, mowing the lawn, working out, but I love it. And it got me thinking. I've had quite a few people give me their precious time to fill out the survey for Benchbox and it's a product that doesn't even exist yet. So something that I'm hoping to do to give back to the users who gave me their damn free time is make a personal video like this where I'm talking right to the camera saying who I am showing gratitude and appreciation for them taking the time on the survey and emailing them that video whether I upload it on YouTube and just give them their own private link or Dropbox it unsure yet technical details because videos are kind of a pain in the butt to send over emails but the idea is that I'm going to send them a minute long snip two minute long snip talk about some of the ideas that they gave me in their survey and like I said just show my appreciation and gratitude that somebody took the damn time out of their day to give me feedback for a product that doesn't even exist yet so I'm genuinely hoping that uh, that appreciation and hospitality will go a long way I want to do it anyways because I am genuinely appreciative that they gave me their feedback but I think this is just another avenue of something people aren't regularly doing in the tech world and it is lifting others up, showing appreciation, saying, I appreciate the hell out of you, and just being thankful. I think there is unnecessary competition in the technical world. We all want to build things. Some of us want to sell things. Some of us want to build and sell things. And I'm here to tell you that there's enough cake for everybody to have a slice. If you're building the same damn product, let's collaborate. Let's talk about it. I want to hear from you. I want to hear about your experiences. I want to show you appreciation. But I think doing these little things that is cost me zero dollars, just some of my free time, is going to go a long way in showing appreciation and gratitude. And I think will be a more meaningful experience and onboarding from their end. So over the next few days, we're going to send out these emails. We're going to record each one, custom each one. I'm not going to go crazy. I don't need to write a full script for each one. Just live, off the cuff, face to face, me and the camera, and then I'll send it their way. Some of them might not even watch it. Some of them might be really appreciative. So I wanna do it. I think it's going to up the game without causing a whole lot of distraction and help build a meaningful relationship with potentially a future customer. So that's my, my secret sauce. Shout out to Mike. I would've never thought of this if you had not posted about that book. Uh, it, it's a great audiobook. Now let's get back to work. I am completely mind blown low-key speechless, but we actually validated a SaaS and now have data-backed evidence that Benchbox is gonna be one, 
a real product, but two, I believe a really successful product. So if you don't know, over the last 10 days, I ran Facebook ads targeting keywords like carpenter, woodworker, craftsperson, things like that. And I am beyond happy to report that over 10 days, I believe we saw some really successful results. As you saw in the last video, I made three ads, one for Facebook, one for Instagram, and one for Instagram story, uploaded them into the ads manager on Facebook and literally did nothing else and walked away, you know, brush, brush, walk away. Well, today I'm happy to report that I reached just shy of 12,000 people with over 360 link clicks, averaging only 25 cents a link click. And that has converted, i.e. where you click the link, you get brought to a landing page where you can sign up and give me your email and even further take a survey. And in the survey, I ask a couple questions to help identify the roadmap of what I should be building, if they're using any tools or software of what they're currently using so that I can make sure I solve those pain points along the way. Across all of 360 clicks, we have over 50 email subscriptions and over 20 of those went ahead and filled in the survey. So I would consider those 20 people there already my valued customers who are already interested in signing up getting the product today and moving on with it and i've had some really amazingly nice comments like let me just read one for you somebody went and said to be honest what i seen in the bench box description was kind of exciting and to have so many different abilities all in one app would be fantastic and that is super meaningful to me it shows that people had the exact same problem that i had when i was woodworking and that it's still a solvable problem. So a lot of the comments I'm getting in here of tools that other folks are using are Excel, whiteboards, sticky notes, paper, OneNote, exactly the tools that I was using. So it blows my mind that nobody has solved this problem yet. And I'm super excited that I get to be the one to solve it and add real value to people just trying to run a side hustle or just doing their passion project or running a small business. It's just really meaningful to me knowing that this is a product that's not some BS and is going to add real value to their lives. So this is where we're at with the dashboard. It is coming along pretty well so far. Obviously, I'm just using template components across all of this, but we started to lay out our tabs. I had a create plus symbol here, but I've decided that I have to rework it because the idea is when you click this plus button, it's gonna open a half sheet and give you some options of creating. So that's the way I wanna go. It's a little more complicated than just, you know, like a fab or something. But I think the UI is going to look a lot nicer, but I think overwhelmingly we're coming along just fine. It is another super rainy, gross day outside in Pennsylvania, but that means it's a great day for recording. And you can see here, life of a YouTuber, uh, got big ass lights everywhere just to make sure you can see the screen well enough for this shot. We're having a lot of fun so far. I've already uh, nearly finished the, the basic layout of one of the tabs. Obviously, when pictures start getting in there and I start pulling real data, that's going to, you know, look a lot more full. Right now, it looks a little bare, but that's okay. Work in progress, baby steps. We're not trying to sprint here, but I've been thinking about it. I, I think strategically, it is going to be the best if I can launch this application sometime early summer to midsummer, because that's when a lot of these woodworking projects are really going to kick off strategically. I think it's kind of silly if I were to launch this in the winter, but I think it's gonna have a much better success if I at least launch a beta sometime in the summer. So that is the goal. We are heads down focused on just building Benchbox over the next couple months, which I'm super excited about. I think it's super cool having something real to build. Well, you know, one of the worst parts about being an engineer is like you wanna make everything and nothing at the same time. So often you find that one product where you're like, ooh, I would love to build that. And then you realize somebody else did it and it kind of demotivates you. Well, this is great because I've done the validation work to prove out that this is a good idea. And yeah, I'm just feeling really motivated. I'm feeling really excited. This morning I went and had a lunch with one of my other uh, innovative type, entrepreneur type fellas and it's just really cool being around like-minded people who want to build things uh, and produce it and put it out there for the world. So shout out to all of my other solopreneurs, indie hackers, entrepreneurs, CTO, like whatever you are, shout out to you. You're awesome. We're all in this together. Let's just keep grinding keep building and keep having fun. But I need to wrap up this video. My wife and daughter come home in a couple more hours and I need to get some chores done, figure out what the hell we're doing for dinner and pick out a movie you know it's friday so happy friday to you all i hope you have a wonderful weekend well happy sunday to you all while you're watching this video i hope you had a wonderful weekend 
and I will see you next week. Peace.